Hello, everybody. Welcome to this week's episode of The County Seat. I'm your host, Chad Booth. Today, we're going to be talking about a variety of topics. Later in the show, we will be discussing municipal services versus county services, how to avoid duplication, and when a city should assume services that have previously been handled by a county. But first, we want to talk about public lands. Yes, it's a topic quite often on this show, but of recent, issues have come up about illegal dumping on undedicated federal and state lands. It's causing quite a bit of problems in the West Mountain area uh, in Utah County. With a report on that is our show producer, Derek Dowsett. I'm west of Utah Lake in an area that people are treating like their own personal dumping grounds. It's causing some real problems for the BLM and School and Institutional Trust Lands Administration, or CITLA. Let me show you what I'm talking about. These hills have become a popular dumping ground for every type of trash imaginable. And it's causing more than just a few headaches for land managers. Given the proximity of this property to a large population base, being, of course, other municipalities in Utah County here, but also the Wasatch Front, we're seeing a lot of population pressure on these areas. In the last decade, there has literally been a threefold increase in the number of registered OHVs here in the state. The proliferation of illegal trails and so forth is just staggering in terms of how they, they present themselves. And we've got a lot of illegal dumping that's occurring. At the same time, there's a lot of undisciplined firearm activity that's coming on out here that's creating huge challenges for us collectively and individually. And some of the issues that we're dealing with are the short-term effects, just what it looks like visually as to the passerby. It just doesn't look very nice to have this accumulation of trash. Another danger to the landscape that a person might not consider when they are trying to escape the city is the real possibility of causing a fire. Target shooting has been known to cause a number of uh, fires out here. And if you do start a fire out here, you can be personally liable for the, not only the suppression costs, but also the rehabilitation costs. And just on a very small fire, just to have a few engines come out and put the fire out uh, for a few acres could easily be $20,000 in a day. Um, all the way up to, we had a fire here uh, earlier this year that was in the $750,000 range just for the suppression costs. We haven't even begun to get into the rehabilitation costs yet. That's the bad news. Hey, look, I put On the other hand, there are groups who have stepped up to combat the problem. Just a couple weeks ago, the Utah Shooting Sports Council held a cleanup that removed more than nine tons of junk that had been dumped in the area. Utah County recently adopted a new ordinance that will also help clean up. The county has done an outstanding job given the magnitude of the problem, which admittedly is like almost turning the ocean back, but they have been very proactive even as of recently. They recently uh, adopted an ordinance that addresses bringing on debris, things that can shatter and so forth, that that has now been essentially made illegal to do as far as firearm shooting. They also, as I mentioned earlier, are uh, very good in trying to work with us as well as the county sheriff in bringing jail inmates to come out and help clean up debris. If you do plan on recreating in the area, there are a couple of things you can do to help. Only bring paper or clay targets and clear the range before you leave. While you're at it, bring an extra trash bag just in case someone else was careless. It's also wise to bring a tarp to catch your brass and shells. And as an extra precaution, take a fire extinguisher, just in case. We're not here suggesting that the public can't come out here and use these lands. But we are asking them to understand that we have a management responsibility to protect this resource. And we hope that the public, the recreating public who enjoys using these lands, would also uh, respect that and try and demonstrate good stewardship practices so they can preserve that privilege. For the agencies, all it really takes is for people to use their heads. For the county seat, I'm Derek Dowsett. We have learned an interesting fact. If people who are dumping on West Mountain on the west side of Utah Lake would merely continue down the same road another five or six miles, they would come to the Utah County Landfill and they would be able to dispose of their garbage legally. Go figure. Well, stay with us. We'll be back with more of the county seat in just a minute. When we come back, we will be discussing the conflicts of municipal services versus county services. 
When does a city become big enough to have its own SWAT team? That and much more on the county seat. We'll be back in just a minute. Almost 45% of the oil produced in Utah, 7.8 million barrels, comes from Duchesne County. That oil feeds our state economy, provides job growth, and supports local business. Here in Duchesne County, we're working to make Utah an economic, cultural, and technological leader. Whether you're here for business or pleasure, Duchesne County will welcome you with open arms and invite you to explore all the beauty of the Uinta Mountains. Duchesne County, close enough for business, far enough to get away. What are the words that describe the perfect destination? Finding them all in one place is easy if you know where to look. Millard County in the heart of Utah offers ATV adventures, rock crawling events, art festivals, and nature at its most epic. Millard County, Utah. Find out what you've been searching for. The State of Utah School and Institutional Trust Lands Administration. CITLA manages 3.5 million acres of Utah lands with the express purpose of furthering the education of Utah students while promoting local industry, oil and gas, even residential development, all at the same time. Through the careful use of trust lands, we distributed more than $22 million to Utah schools last year. The State of Utah School and Institutional Trust Lands Administration, building the state's permanent school fund. Fall in love with fall, Logan, Utah. 